In this video, we will understand what is email or electronic mail. Email are messages distributed by electronic means from one computer user to one or more recipient via a network. Email could be web based, for example, Gmail, Yahoo Mail, or there are others where you have to download the email client, for example, Thunderbird, Postbox Express, EM. Email typically has the following structure. When you are writing an email, you will see a to field. This is the address of the receiver to whom the email is sent. Then there is CC, which stands for carbon copy. These are list of people who also receive a copy of the message. This list is visible to the receiver. Then there is BCC, which is blind carbon copy. These are list of people who also receive a copy of the message. This list is not visible to the to and CC receivers. Then there is the subject, which is a short title for the mail. Next, there is body, which is the actual message being delivered. You can also attach one or more pictures, documents or any other attachments with your email. The person who receives the mail sees a from field. This has the address of the sender of the email. Along with the address, the display name is also showcased. There are two main email formats. First is plain text or .txt which can be read by anyone regardless of the email application they use. It does not offer any text formatting options. Then there is rich text format or .rtf format, which allows text formatting options and inserting pictures and graphics. It cannot be read by all email applications. There are few standard email protocols which are being used. First is IMAP, which is Internet Message Access Protocol which is a standard client-server protocol for accessing emails from local server. It works well over slow connections and low data transfer scenarios. Next is POP3, which is Post Office Protocol, which provides a simple, standardized way for users to access their mailboxes. It downloads messages to their computers in one shot to minimize internet cost. Next is SMTP, which is Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It is used only to transfer mail messages between email servers. The HTTP protocol is not a protocol dedicated for email communications, but it can be used for accessing the mailbox. We will now understand what are the pros of using email. Sending an email is much less expensive and more faster than sending postal mail. Unlike a telephone or in-person conversation, Email by its nature creates a detailed written record of the communication. It allows each participant to work as per their schedule independently. The cons are that it leads to information overload which could lead to reduced productivity. The users are exposed to spam which is unsolicited bulk mail. Email fatigue or email bankruptcy is when a user ignores a large number of email messages after falling behind in reading and answering them. Email spoofing occurs when the email message header is designed to make the message appear to come from a known or trusted source. Email bombing is the intentional sending of large volume of messages to a target address leading to mail server crash. Flaming occurs when a person sends a message or many messages with angry or antagonistic content. There are various types of email scams including advance fee scam, Nigerian letters to phishing, email worms, etc.